If you were to bolt four wheels onto a kayak, you would end up with a skip barber. It's not fast, it's not grippy, but it is really fun to race against other people with. And thanks to Daniel Jimenez, you can now experience the joy of skip barbering by yourself or with friends in a Seto Corsa completely for free. Yes, the link is in the video description. In order to properly test this mod out, the server gods set up a 40 slot Road Atlanta race, because we all know the more skippies, the cleaner the driving. I hope you enjoy it. Remember, see it, say it, click the like button, and I'll catch you next time we live stream. It's time for the ultimate test of the new Skip Barber mod for Seto Corsa. We've got 44 drivers on the grid, and we're going to be starting in the middle. <laughs> Chili Dog's in front of us, that MKK behind us. We're fueled up. We're ready. We've had a sip of tea. Got in the, <laughs> we're in the back. Ah, uh, server crash. No, no. Server's still good. I'm expecting a server crash here. Road Atlanta, Michelin Man looking upon us. Um, <laughs> oh my God. We've got a 1080 Ti uh, and an i7 7600K overclocked and we're getting 60 FPS. <laughs> so, <laughs> get ready. Oh my God. The ultimate test begins. Crash, crash, crash. It's off. You know it's bad when the frame rate's almost as low as the number of cars in the race. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, come on. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. We've got to watch out for the crashes. There's one in front of us. Whoa! Oh! Oh! God, he's behind us. It's like the Grand National on a rainy day. Still going. Still going. Still alive. Come on. Nice and easy. Defend off the inside line there. Don't want him doing any stupid moves on us. Mike McLaren. 14th place has been held so far. Now watch out for the uh, accidents that typically happen on this corner. Try and throw it in a bit. Car on the left. It's Killer Quar's gone down. And that's Killer Quar on the second hurdle on the first four long coming into the corner. And he's Chili Dog coming up the inside to that MKK. Will Chili Dog get on the brakes? Chili Dog gets on the brakes and he's into the corner. Gromzy, followed by Gamer Muscle, followed by Mike McLaren, and then Ironi, Stefan Fortune in 16th place. 16th place, Stefan Fortune coming in. Here we go, we've got a... They've got a competitor, Dom GTR, blocks Chili Dog, and Chili Dog's out of the race. That's it, they've dropped down to the final hurdle, coming into the second to last corner. Gromzy moves forward, onto Frank Hedrick, and that's MKK in 8th place. Mike McLaren, followed by Stefan Fortune, Atheist Gherkin in 14th place. That's MKK, 6 to 1 odds, 6 to 1 odds, moving forward. He's going to come through, down the hill, over the crest, far away. Here he goes. Gromzy, Gromzy moves to the right, blocks to the left. Frederick Hansen doesn't know what to do. And, and there he goes, Gromzy up the inside, breaking late into the corner, throws it in. Gromzy runs wide. Frederick Hansen goes around the left hand side. We've got a car behind us. And, oh, it's contact. Gromzy, Tom, Gromit, it's Carnage, Court Marshal, Mike McLaren. That's five cars down on the final second to last corner there. Unbelievable action in the first lap of this race. 40 to sixth place. What a start. What a start. Now it's time for the second lap of this circuit. We've got 15 minutes total, 12 minutes left on the clock. That MKK in fifth place. Antoine Jacket Potato representing the nation of France in fourth place. And Random Call Sign in third place. Get ready to go death. A new member has joined the channel. It's Anderson Cholomir. Things go quiet as we get ready to go death. Oh, 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 bit too much, bit too much. Catch, catch the oversteer. If you go over the limit in this car, you are dead. You are totally dead. So you've got to be careful. Mike McLaren coming up the outside. We're going to defend the inside into this corner. We're going to break a bit late. Hold it back. Oh, oh, oh. Lock the wheel there. Went wide. We're going to have to try and hold it on the grass. Pull it back. Mike McLaren finds a way through. He's holding on the inside. Mike McLaren gets on the throttle too early. Mike McLaren has lost it on the gas. That's Mike McLaren dropping back. One, two, three, four places. Stefan Fortune coming up behind us. Killer Quai in eighth. Eighth is Gherkin in ninth. The previous competitors that had an accident on the first lap, they're now coming back into the action. Here is Killer Quai. Eighth is Gherkin. Let's get in the draft. Use the canoe and go down the river with the other cars in front of you. Here we go. Here we go. Seventh place in front of us. Sixth place in front of him. 
we're in eighth place. We need to go with the flow. Not doing too bad, started in 14th. No big mistakes yet from myself, just a couple of little, little uh, boo-boos, but nothing too massive. Using the draft here. Try and edge it in on the brake a little bit. On the inside, and we get the pass on. Stefan Fortitude, nice and smooth. Now let's try and line this up a bit on the brake. Turn it in, tiny bit of curb. And here we go, we've got pace to catch up with Killacqua. Now in holy, holy seventh place. I don't know, Anderson, Big Ben should appear. Streamlabs has been bamboozled by the action on the server. If Big Ben doesn't come out, I will, I will rectify it after this, don't worry. But thank you so much for becoming a channel member. Really do appreciate that and everybody that becomes channel members. But uh, it's a special thank you to Anderson Schollemir, our favorite German footballer. Come on. Come on. Killacqua holding off sixth place, that MK came fifth. Antoine Jackie Potato in fourth place. Thomas Schmidt behind us in eighth place, pushing forwards. He's moved from the back. He's coming up behind us now, 1.0 seconds. Atheist Gherkin still in ninth. Stefan, Stefan Fortitude in tenth place. We're holding on here. Holding on to holy seventh place. A beautiful place. The most holy, endorsed by Jesus of places. There we go, continuing on. Not guilty, I don't know why that played. Oh, as we lock up the wheels there, that doesn't help you get around the corner quickly. Thomas Smith right on our exhaust pipe here. Thomas Smith goes for the move up the inside. Can it make it stick? He's going there. We've got to watch out for him understeering into us. This car has a habit of understeering late corner. There's Thomas Smith coming into us. We've had to go on the grass there. Thomas Smith pulls back, leaves space and backs off. Very nice of Thomas Smith to do that. Didn't kill us. Appreciate that. Very nice, kind driving off. Thomas Smith, we've got a car in the grass. Who is it? Who is it? It's Darren Brynell. Back marker, car number 34, the last car is going to come into play into Thomas Smith. Now can't get the pass in the back marker, blocking both myself and Thomas Smith. Confusion, back marker really needs to get off the track here. This is a 34 car grid, the back markers can't be blocking people. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh, the back marker's lost control, he's gone over the kerb. He's took out Thomas Smith, the back markers caused carnage. Thomas Smith's race is over. That is a textbook example of how you don't back mark. We managed to avoid that. We put pressure on the back marker and we converted the back marker into a back marker from a back marker into a landmine. And Thomas Smith drove straight over the landmine, unfortunately losing his lower half of his body and his vehicle. But we're still in the race ourselves. That MKK making a mistake there on the throttle, putting himself still in sixth place. But we've got the run there to catch up with him. Atheist Gurkha coming up behind us. That MKK is going to leave the space in the middle. We're going to be three wide into this corner, surely. No. Nope. Atheist Gherkin getting the draft, very clever driving there. I should have got the draft, that's by mistake. Here we go, getting on the power here, down the hill. I'm on the inside, we're positioned quite nicely for this if we break lately, but if we break too late, we're going to be breaking into the back of that MKK, so let's be careful here. Lean it in, a little bit of a lock-up, but not too much. We hold the position there from Atheist Gherkin. We get a better exit, that MKK. That MKK. Can we get on the inside of him? We've got the run. Oh, we've got a little bit of a bump there. Sorry. His uh, Samsung livery car might burst into flames at any second. Check your batteries. No, I think we're okay. He's okay. But he's wide through there. He's going to be on the grass. It's going to be slow. He's going to overdo it. That MKK makes a huge mistake there. Loses one, two, three places as we move ourselves into sixth place out of this 35 car grid race. Absolutely extraordinary performance so far. Seven minutes, 27 on the clock quite a gap between us and the next car in front of us Kilaqua six seconds so we need to try and uh, dial our performance in yellow flag there that could be a car in front are we going to gain place I think it's Doug Tooth getting in the way of back marker pesky back markers here hopefully he's driving off the track tricking the yellow flags that'd be nice that's what I like to see with the back markers keeping out of the way there he is Doug Tooth doing a good job there of getting out of the way and then driving onto the track perfectly to block me that's
That's back markers, guys. That's back markers. Bloody... Oh, he's going to do it again. Yep, yep, yep. Do it Yep. Why not? He's done it once. Do it again. Okay, so we're in 11th place now. We're going to continue on. Dogtooth needs to face a death penalty. <laughs> Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Still, 11th out of 33. We're still in the uh, top-ish part of the grid, so we can't complain too much. I'm definitely installing explosives in vehicles next race, and if you're a back marker, your car blows up. Five minutes left on the clock. Let's, let's gather some places up here. Thomas Schmidt, the next car in front of us. We've raced Thomas Schmidt quite a few times. Antoine Jacket Potato, representing the nation of France, has disconnected from the server. Deeply distressing and upsetting there. I, I, I don't think the French people are going to be happy with that. I'm not sure why he's left. But he's gone. He's abandoned. He's abandoned the race. Some might say he surrendered. But that would be a cliche. So maybe he's got technical problems. Ex stuntman pulls off the circuit into the wall there, living up to his name. And we've got that MKK back in the battle here. That MKK, another driver we race quite a lot with. And there's random call sign in 10th place. Random call sign. Another YouTuber, guys. Another YouTuber. In the race, the most beautiful of sim racing YouTubers. There he is, there he is, with his headphones and his naked body. Beautiful, glorious, random call sign. Censored. You don't want to see genitalia in a sim racing stream, that's for sure. Make sure you subscribe to Random Call Sign today for sexy sim racing. And at the moment, he is currently under the influence of alcoholic beverages. So we'll see if we can catch up with him and overtake him. This is the race for pride now. Doesn't matter that we're in 11th. It, it doesn't matter. All that matters is we can beat off the random call sign and beat him off hard and good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bit leery on the brakes there. Car behind us. That MKK throws himself on the circuit, I think, to try not to crash this. So I appreciate that, MKK. It was my fault for getting loose. MKK didn't want to take us out. It was very nice of him. Now... 3 minutes 53, that's a couple of laps left in this. Can we defeat a drunken call sign? Or will drunken call sign beat us using drunken driving technique? This is the this is the real test here. Here we go. Here we go. Tim, the backmarker Tim getting out of the way, hopefully getting out of the way of us as well. We've had bad luck with backmarkers this race. Tool time, tool time backmarker Tim. That's how, like, you know, if you watch that. Thank you, Tim. That, that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you backmark. You, you, you get out of the way in a nice way. You don't do anything erratic. You just drive your line, and if necessarily, you, you pull out of the way with plenty of warning. It's all good. So, we've got to uh, power on through this. We've got Thomas Schmidt in front of us. Random call sign. Moves up into ninth place. Gromsey in eighth place. There could still be carnage. We could still move further forwards into the top ten. We really, or I really, want to get on top of Random Call Sign. And I feel like if we get on top of him, we'll, we'll indeed be able to beat him off. But we have to get on top of him first. Well, first of all, we need to get behind him. Then we need to get on top of him. And then we'll be able to beat him off. In that exact order. So, let's get on it, guys. 2.4 seconds to uh, Thomas Smith. Yellow flags up front. Oh, who is it? Oh, random call sign has contacted with Stefan Fortitude. Absolute disaster. Call sign out of the race. No battle. He's gone. He's gone. Slow reaction times there for random call sign under the influence. He couldn't do anything. And he, he looks like he might have lost a wheel and his will to sim race. Incredible. But that's, that's what Skip Barber Race is all about. And we've now moved up into eighth place. Possible to get a beautiful seventh place. This this really is the pinnacle of sim racing right here. We're going to defend the inside line. Thomas Smith now trying to get past this. He goes wide. Thomas Smith side by side. We're going to push him wide a bit, but not too wide. We need to not understeer off into him as the back of the car sweeps around there. Almost make a huge mistake. Thomas Smith now on the inside. He gets a pass. Let's see if we can pick up some of Thomas Smith's draft. Focus on the milk bottle located at the back of the car. Some say it's a fuel tank. I know it's full of milk. Skip Barber can't trick me. 
Random call sign, only 1.7 seconds behind us. Catching, catching call sign. Safe to say there's only 1 minute 14 seconds left in this race. And if we do finish in front of call sign, we have managed to beat off a drunk call sign. What an achievement. What a lifelong dream for most people. So, you know, often when, when watching iRacing, you know, people are excited to race against Max Verstappen or, you know, various other real-world drivers. But this is, this is what it's really about. Random call sign is catching there. Try and tilt it in on the brake here. Here we go. We need a bit of DRS. <laughs> that would be handy. But we might have one more lap after this because the front runners are so far ahead. Come on. Absolute power beast mode through here. I want to get a PB. We're already a second up on our PB. Whoa, all the curb. How much curb? All of it. Look at this power. The skip barber jaw on. <laughs> Come on. So the trick with this car, like all cars, is you, you, you know, brake as heavy as possible in a straight line and then trail brake it a tiny bit. But as you see, when the back starts going, especially on the tighter corners, it just goes for sliding. You can't bring it back. So you have to be super careful. And that's what makes this so tricky. And, and, and I have to say, this is the, probably the hardest car in, in Assetto at the moment, just for the sort of unforgiving rear once you uh, lock it up. Making the steering a bit more sensitive definitely made it a bit easier. But otherwise, you've got to be very quick on your counter steer. So this is a this is the final lap here. So it looks like we are settling with ninth place. Random call sign. Tempted probably not to use his brakes and to use us as a brake. But it looks like we've got it. It looks like we've defeated the random call sign. There was a fish of despair. It was it was a, a, a bit of a sad race. Well, that's a bit of a wide exit out of there. Perfect legal. Michelin man, we love you. It, 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 you know, the race was a little bit tarnished by the action of a uh, back marker, but guys, Skip Barber for Assetto Corsa, that was the ultimate test. 33 cars, 30 left. The results in. Who won? Who won the, the Tortellini, the champion of Skip Barber, Joss the Boss second, Moritz Hates third, Killer fourth, Atheist Gherkin fifth, Gromsey sixth, Frederick Hansen seventh, Thomas Smith eighth, we came ninth, Randall Corsine tenth, not as good as myself. Pitiful performance there by John Callsign. I expect better from handsome Callsign. Really let, really let himself down there. Stefan 42 to 11. Peter Middleton 12. Mitzel 38. Slow result for him. He's normally a lot faster. Azar Alamari 14. Mike McLaren 15. Robert Agut 16. Chili Dog 17. V Monique 18. Steve Size 19. Paul Leach 20. I'm not going to read the rest of it because we're going to die of old age. Uh, download the mod now in the in the description. Absolutely awesome. What a ridiculous race. We're going to have to do that again. <laughs> not not right now, but another time. So uh, if you enjoyed that, you've got to click the like and subscribe button. That You know, they're all on the screen. They're all there. You've got to click on them. You've got to click on them, guys. Have you not clicked on them? You, you've got to click on them. But uh, absolutely awesome. Oh, man, I'm knackered. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm on my toast to my tea, guys. Oh...